to the man which had the wither hand, stand forth. And he said unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they held their peace. Yeah. This is my verse right here, verse 5. And when they, when he had looked round about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their heart, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he stretched it out. And his hand was restored whole as the other. Amen. Before y'all take y'all seats, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, whatever you're going through, whatever you're going through, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. That's what I'm going to talk about. It's going, oh, yeah. it's going to get better. Matter of fact, if you believe that it's going to get better, I just want you to take 10 seconds and give God praise. Brothers and sisters, there comes a time in our life when all of us have to deal with some situations and some struggles. Mm -hmm. Every now and then, we go through life's ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Every now and then, we get to a place in our life where we just don't understand. All, right. all of us, we had some moments in our life when we went through some tests and trials we just didn't understand. And some of us, if we can be honest with ourselves, we have sometimes had to ask the question, why? God, why am I going through this? Why, God, why am I dealing with this? And sometimes when we're going through trials and tribulations, the enemy will make you think that where you are now 
is your final destination. Right. Right. Uh, but I come to tell somebody that no matter what you're going through, it's going to get better. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the reason why it's going to get better is because God is in control. Because God is on your side. He said he will never leave you nor forsake you. And I came to give someone good news that even when things don't look good, God is still good. Do I have any witnesses in here that can testify that you went through some things in your life, but God is still good. And because he's still good, I'm going to give him praise and I'm going to give him glory because he is worthy to be praised. Is there anybody in here who can testify? I'm going through some stuff right now, but God is still good. I just need about 10 people in here to testify that God is still good. God is still good. He woke you up this morning. He started you on your way. He gave you life, health, district. Is there anybody in here that can testify that God is still good? And because he's still good, I'm going to go ahead and give him praise, and I'm going ahead and give him glory, because he's worthy to be praised. No matter how bad things look in your life, you need to have the mindset that you have no reason to fear, because God has the final say. In this text, this afternoon, Mark chapter 3. It tells us and it lets us know that Jesus, he is concerned and he confronts a man who is in need. Uh -huh. All right. And it lets us know that when he entered into the synagogue, he saw a man with a withered hand. And the word withered means to fade away or to be dried up. And my brothers and sisters, some of us in here today, whether we want to admit it or not, but we are going through some dried up situations. Right. If we can take a moment and be honest, some of us, our homes are withered. All right. Our jobs are withered. All right. Your finances may be withered. All right. Your ministry may be withered. I wish I was helping you. Your faith might be withered. Your confidence might be be withered. Your dreams and your vision might be withered. But I come to tell somebody, even though what you're going through right now, God is able to restore you. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think. And I'm so glad to know that God specializes the things that seems impossible. And it doesn't matter what people say or what people do. You got to have a made up mind that I know that God can turn things around for you. Is there anybody in here who can testify that God is able to turn things around for you? Yeah, yeah. He was meeting the need of this man. And the Texas tell us that there were some people who was watching and waiting to accuse him. And according to their tradition, it was unlawful to heal on the Sabbath day. It was, their, it was their tradition. You couldn't do anything on the Sabbath day. And they were, so, they were so caught up in their tradition that they didn't care about the man or his need. Right. Uh, but this man, he had to understand that he, if he wanted deliverance, his deliverance was based on his obedience. All right. I'm going to say that again. His deliverance yeah. was based on his obedience and, and, and a, a funny thing is a lot of us will be delivered if we know how to obey all right all right, all right. i'm gonna leave that alone i'm gonna move on but the first thing that god tells us he, that jesus tells us in the text he the first thing he tells this man is to stand forth the word stand forth means to rise or to stand up jesus was calling for the man's willingness to do exactly what Jesus told him to do. If he really wanted deliverance, he had to get to the place where he had to be willing to be obedient and confess his faith in God. Not only did Jesus tell him to stand for it, but he also told him to stretch for it. All right. Now in the mind of this man, it was he thought it was impossible. And, and I can imagine he could have felt a little anger inside. He probably wanted to argue and plead a case 
against what Jesus was telling him to do. He could have got to the place. He could have said, well, Jesus, I tried before and it didn't work. Uh, he could have used his past failures as an excuse or not to do what he was commanded to do. Yes, but instead of arguing with him, he obeyed the command of God. Yes, and I come to tell somebody that in spite of what it looks like, you got to learn how to trust God. Amen. Is there anybody in here that can testify that I'm going to trust God? Things that may not look good, that may not feel good, but I'm going to trust God. Because it's going, it's going to get better. Is anybody in here who have a mindset that no matter how things look like, it's going to get better. People can say what they want to, they can do what they want to, but I'm going to trust in God because God will do what he said he will do. You got to trust him. You got to understand that God didn't bring you this far to leave you. All right. God is right there by your side. And I understand sometimes you feel like giving up. I understand sometimes you want to throw in the towel. But I couldn't encourage somebody. You just got to keep on holding on a little while longer. Right. You got to learn how to trust him and never doubt. The Bible says you got to trust in the Lord and lean not into your own understanding. But in all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Is there anybody in here that's going to, that can testify that I'm going to stand on his word? I'm going to stand on the promises of God. And the promises that God made, he said, and my God yes, shall supply all of my needs yes. according to his riches in glory. Yes, if you're dealing with sickness in your body, the Bible says he was wounded yes. for my transgressions. Yes, he was bruised for my iniquities. Yes, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed. The Bible said, no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. Is there anybody in here that can testify that no matter how things look like, I'm going to stand on the word of God. I'm going to stand on the promises of God. Uh, every now and then, you got to say, Father, I stretch my hands, my hands to thee. No other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, oh, where the shall I go? Every now and then, you got to look to the hills which come in your help. Because all your help comes from the Lord. What a friend we have in Jesus. All of our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. And I stop by to encourage somebody. You got to hold on a little while longer. Don't give up. Don't quit. Because it's going to get better. But you got to praise them in advance. Is there anybody in here that's going to praise them in advance? Because you know it's going to get better. We've been made and grew up for an item. But John coming in the morning. He's not just made for whatever the time. Because God will, will take care of you. Is there anybody in here that know that God will? He will take care of you. He'll fight your battle. He'll wipe tears from your eyes. He'll give you joy and sorrow. He'll give you hope for the morrow. It's going to get better. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, it's going to get better. But praise him in advance. Do not wait till the battle is over. But shout right now. Give God glory right now. Because it's going to get better. Hold on a little while longer. Keep the faith. God is not through with you yet. It's going to get 